Let's be honest, not every business is glamorous. Hindi lahat ng negosyo ay kailangang maging bongga or flashy para kumita ng malaki. Sometimes, the boring ones are the real money makers. Kaya today, pag-uusapan natin ang 7 boring businesses with high profit. Excited na ba kayo? Let's dive in! Okay, let's start with the laundry business. I know, hindi siya exciting unless gusto mong makita ang mga damit na umiikot sa washing machine. Pero alam nyo ba, isa ito sa mga business ideas na napag-isipan namin when we had our rental business. Yung mga tenants gumagamit ng laundry. So, inisip namin i-convert yung machine to coin-operated para every time maglalabas sila, may additional income kami. Plus, mababawasan pa yung paglalaban nila kasi magmabayad sila. And then, na umuwi kami ng Pilipinas, nakita ko ang pila sa mga laundry shops, lalo na pag-weekend. Boring ba? Siguro, pero kung kumikita ka ng malaki habang pinapanood mong mag-spin ang washing machine, who cares? Ang totoo, ang laundry business ay laging may market. Sa mga estudyante, sa mga busy professionals, sa mga tenants ng apartment, kahit sa mga OFW na nagpapalaba sa mga kamag-anak nila. Plus, this business is recession-proof. Araw-araw, nagpapalit ng damit ang mga tao. So kahit anong market pa yan, siguradong may kita ka. For example na lang, yung laundry dito sa malapit sa amin. Doon kami nagpapalaba dati nung pandemic. Kakabukas lang na noon with small space. Ngayon, five years later, malaki na ang space niya. Yung mga katabi niyang mga negosyo, nagsara na. Siya lang yung naiwan, plus lumaki pa yung kanyang pwesto. Same thing din sa mga other laundry business na nakikita ko. In the province or Manila. They are always busy. You just have to put it in a nice location near living areas like condos, schools, or apartments. How much do you need to start a laundry business in the Philippines? I've searched different companies na nag offer ng mga laundry package business. It starts from 300,000 to 500,000 pesos. But for some who have limited budget, they just do DIY. Hindi siya flashy, pero if you do the math, it's a steady stream of income. Now, let's talk about vending machines. I know, parang out of nowhere itong idea na to. Pero trust me on this. One time, habang nag-work ako sa night shift sa Canada, napadami yung kuha ko ng snacks sa vending machine. I realized, grabe ang kita nito. Lalo na sa mga lugar na maraming tao. Like schools, offices, hospitals. Saan ka pa? Siyempre, boring siya. Walang tao. Walang excitement. Just a machine spitting out snacks. Pero think about it. You just refill the machine and let it do the work. Napaka-low maintenance. Tapos, kumikita pa. Now, alam din naman na my husband and I are bird lovers. So, this next business is close to my heart. Pet shops and pet grooming. I realized na mga pet owners gagastos talaga yan para sa mga alaga nila. People are willing to pay big bucks to keep their pets looking cute and clean. Para kang hairstylist, pero for pets. Hindi lang yun. The pet industry is recession-proof. Kahit anong mangyari sa ekonomiya, people will spend on their pets. Boring? Maybe. Profitable? Absolutely. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Ay, Sally, ang morbid naman nito. Pero hear me out. The funeral business is something na hindi mawawala. Hindi siya glamorous and it might make you uncomfortable at first. Pero if you look at it as a business, it's very practical. Just this year, I've lost my pinakamamahal na auntie. Doon ko nakita ang importance ng reliable funeral services. The reality is, it's necessary. And people will pay for quality service when the time comes. Sabi nga nila, there are two things certain in life, death and taxes. Kaya naman, this business will always have a market. It might be boring, pero as long as you provide excellent service, it will be profitable. One of our friends who has a funeral business indeed confirmed that this business is truly a profitable one. I've discussed that in this video right here. Rental Properties Another business na walang kaiksa-excitement. Pero, napaka-steady ng income. My husband and I have been involved in real estate for years before. And I can tell you, it's a game changer. Hindi siya madali at the start. Ang daming paperworks, approvals, and kung ano-ano pa. 
Pero once you get everything in place, passive income na siya. It's like planting a tree. Mabagal lang simula, pero pag tumubo na, tuloy-tuloy na ang bunga. Whether it's an apartment, a house, or even just a room for rent, the demand will always be there. People need places to live, especially in urban areas. And the beauty of it, once you have tenants, you'll have a steady stream of income every month without too much hassle. You just have to maintain the property, make sure your tenants are happy, and you're good to go. And if you decide to sell it in the future, real estate tends to appreciate in value over time, giving you even more potential profit. Hindi siya exciting, but it's definitely one of the most reliable sources of income you can have. Imagine, natutulog ka, pero kumikita pa rin ang property mo. Ayaw mo nun? Next up, cleaning services. Sally, seryoso ka pa? Yes, seryoso ako. Cleaning might sound boring, pero think about it. Busy people don't have time to clean their homes or offices, and they're willing to pay someone else to do it. Pag tumingin ka sa paligid, Lalo na sa mga urban areas, you'll see na ang daming pwedeng market for this business. Lalo na ngayon na mas conscious na ang mga tao sa cleanliness, mas dumadami ang gustong mag-avail ng ganitong service. Hindi lang yan. With more people working from home, mas kailangan nila ng tulong para mapanatili ang kalinisan ng bahay nila habang nagtatrabaho. Cleaning isn't exciting, pero maraming busy people ang willing magbayad para dito. Start with basic cleaning services, then expand to more specialized ones like deep cleaning, post-construction cleaning, or even commercial spaces. All you need are the right tools, a good team, and a solid marketing plan. Before you know it, you'll have a regular clients and steady income. And the best part, you can start small and grow as your client base expands. Boring? Yes. But just like laundry, it's a necessity. Kaya, the profits are stable. At sa bawat paglilinis na ginagawa mo, iniisip mo na hindi lang kalinisan ang binibigay mo, kundi peace of mind din sa mga clients mo. Last but definitely not the least, water refilling station. Baka naman sabihin nyo, Sally, tubig lang yan. Exactly, tubig lang. Pero lahat ng tao, kailangan nito. Isa ito sa mga negosyo na nakonsider din namin when we move back to the Philippines. Water is essential. And with the growing population and the demand for clean drinking water, this business is a gold mine. Ang maganda pa dito, kahit simple lang ang operasyon, Tuloy-tuloy ang pasok ng kita dahil araw-araw kailangan ng tao ng tubig. Plus, the startup cost is relatively low compared to other businesses, making it accessible even for first-time entrepreneurs. No fancy marketing is needed. People will come to you. You just need a good location, reliable equipment, and clean water supply. And because water is a basic necessity, you'll have a consistent customer base, high demand, and steady profits. Boring? Maybe. But the profits? Exciting. And let's not forget, you're also helping the community by providing clean and safe drinking water. It's a win-win situation. Hindi lang ikaw ang kumikita, tumutulong ka pa sa kalusugan ng mga tao. Hindi lahat ng successful business ay kailangan flashy or complicated. Sometimes, the simplest ideas can give you the most consistent and stable income. Kaya don't underestimate these so-called boring businesses because behind their simplicity is a potential for success. Comment below kung alin sa mga businesses na to ang sa tingin nyo ang gusto nyong i-start. Now that you know this, watch this next.